Okay, so that cut off. So I'm going to finish telling you. So you can wash off your fruit, some grapes, and put them on the um, platter and it's the cheese. And it just looks, fruit and cheese, it's sweet and it's salt, um, savory. And then when you have this casserole that has everything from the meat to the um, vegetables in it. If you want to, you can also go get one of those little round things of bread. And then go to someplace like Branch and Vine. You know, get out one of those round loaves. And you can cut it all around, and then the pieces you pull out, pull them apart again, very clean hands. Pull them apart in little bite-sized pieces, and then put them back in that loaf. And then um, have a little um, dish to the side, two little small dishes. One of a flavored oil, one of a flavored balsamic vinegar. And Branch and Vine is a really good place to get those. I always use uh, the Persian Lime for the oil. And for the vinegar, I use the Mission Fig. And when people take a little piece of bread and dip it in both, put that on their plate, put a little fruit on their plate, put a little uh, cheese on their plate, and then they have this casserole. You are like the cat's meow. People think you're awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. It's got that home-cooked um, kind of, what's the word? comfort food feel and yet because of the the hint of curry there in the background just regular curry it's almost like chicken and divan where it feels like a specialty food and it's not really it's a chicken casserole and when people are sick they love it I had a friend who's sick every friend that I take this to because it's so basic it won't hurt anybody's tummy oh, I was like Beth I love your casserole what was that mm -hmm. yeah I know I know I got it going on Yep, yep. All right, so as you saw in this particular one, it is part four, but I'm also going to go over both my Birch Box and my Ipsy subscriptions. I have canceled my Ipsy and I'm going to let the Birch Box run out. I'm not getting enough from either one of these. I just have to be honest, you guys, to keep this going. Um, okay, let's see why. This is very cute this month in that it's a nice. Um, kind of burgundy lace. I don't know if you can see the lace. I'm going to try to bend it over the light so you can kind of see. It's very, very pretty. It's a really good size um, makeup pouch. It's very cute in that it's very Halloween-y because it's got this little, this little bat. Can y'all see the little bat? Hold on. See him? I'm trying to put him behind my skin because then you can see him. See the little bat? He's the pull tag. Now, the thing about Etsy is they always give you a nice little makeup pouch. In my defense, the moon was full and I was left unsupervised. Um, they always give you some little card in here, which I'm never really interested in, to be completely frank. And this is the products that came out. First of all, uh, m and Shadows in Beige. And uh, it says Meech and Mia. I don't know. Hold on. See, the thing is, I don't want to really open this because I may, when I do um, giveaways, I may throw in some little goodies like this, like throw away, put in a goodie pouch. So I'm not going to open this, but you can see it's kind of a champagne peach color. I don't need it. I'm going to give it away. Next, Hey Honey Trick or Treat Active Propolis Cream Concealer with Treatment Benefits, Natural Tone, Normal to Dry. Now, I am going to keep this. That looks like a product I want to try. So it's a concealer. It's natural. So I'm going to I'm going to keep that. Then it says hydrating coconut oil and shea butter. And it says apply 1 to 3 drops depending on hair length. So this is for your hair, damp or dry, distribute from roots to ends, do not rinse out, style as usual for external use only, sample not for resale. So this is obviously from Mark Anthony, True Professional Hydrating Coconut oil and butter for your hair. I don't know if you can see that. And um, again, it says apply a few drops. So this is uh, the type that you would put a few drops on your fingers and then work it in. It's not a spray. So there's that, and that's the size of it. Then also, um, in the Ipsy, I got this Urban Decay Seal This Look. 
uh, 24 7 glide on eye pencil and this is in perversion perversion is their color black I cannot stand the names of, of urban decay I really can't they all imply something negative and bad in my book but it says 40 ways to get addicted see what I mean I just I don't like the the implication of the names but it's creamy award-winning waterproof eye liners and they come in all kinds of colors can you see all the colors and I am going to also say this because I have this already and I also have IT Cosmetics, and I also have Charlotte Tilbury, and I just want to share rather than keep this. So I will save this for one of my giveaways and put this in the goodie bag that comes with whatever I give away. And then this is very good. This is IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder, and it's a sample. And um, it airbrushes, it um, blurs imperfections, it's an anti-aging silk collagen and antioxidants. It's universal because it's translucent, so it goes for all skin tones. And I do highly promote this one because I have it and I love it and it really does fill your pores up to where you look like you're just, yeah, flawless. Like my chicken casserole. Mm -hmm. We're eating lunch together. Okay. So next is Birchbox. Birchbox comes in a cute little box. A box that would not reuse. If you would reuse the boxes, more power to you. This one's called Behind the Scenes. And um, it's cute. There's nothing wrong with the boxes ever. And the, where it gets a huge plus is not this piece, which usually encourages some sort of sale. You know, they want you to think about how you could better use their products. But this is great. And this is um, their list of what's in the box and what the full size cost is. And I think that Epsi needs to get their act together and do that because it would make them the better one, I think, because they have not just a box you would throw away, but a makeup pouch you can use or give to a friend. But you don't know what all this stuff is. And this explains what it is, what's in it, and how much a full size sample, I mean a full size, you get a sample what a full size would cost and I think that is a huge plus of Birchbox if not their only plus now because they have some good stuff but usually Epsi beats them out so here's the first thing comfort zone Hydra memory cream gel it's 24 hour hydration cream gel for hydration that's good I'll keep that then they have Quai rose hair and body oil so you could just this is just a nourishing body oil or hair oil and it's a spray. I'm sorry, it's not. It's it's a little drop. So again, just like the other, you the this one, oh, they're similar. I wonder if they copy each other in style, like what they do. These are both for hair and body. And remember how we had what did we have an eye liner? Urban Decay. This one came with Ico. Urban Decay is a much higher end, y'all. Um, but Ico and that. One is a uh, cream waterproof. This is a liner felt tip, which I'm not crazy about this. I, I use it because of, um, you know, the TARDIS, but my preference is to have the DHC, which has an actual brush. It's just so fine. It looks like it's a pen. And then this, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, Evian Hydrants Intense, and it's a serum. Um, a rejuvenating serum it's always good to have extra serum so I'll keep that serums always good you know just it always helps your skin supposedly or it doesn't at all and we're all being fooled and then um, glow milk gave me this kind of again peachy champagne color highlighter which I would not use so one of you guys will get it when you win something <laughs> but it's a pretty color at first I thought speaking on polish I was so excited because I love the color but not for my face. I don't really need a lot of highlighting of things. I need more of a matte finish. So, and then you are left with this empty box. Now you could put that in a drawer and it could keep your products or you could throw it away. Not the best use. That's why I'm not crazy about it. Um, I may actually keep this. I think it to you guys and the same for the Urban Decay. That will probably be the two items I would keep out of this whole thing. The rest of it, you guys will get Again, Birchbox gets a huge plus because they list everything and how much it costs in full size versus sample. Etsy gets a huge plus because they're usually a little higher end, number one, and they give you a makeup pouch every time. 
and that's just nice because even if you've got a hundred little makeup pouches you can give them away to family or friends moms um, your kids whoever who also enjoys makeup or use them for other things you can put hair pins in it safety pins in it gym clips I mean you can use when you have little pouches like that it doesn't have to just be used for makeup and you could always eat some of my mmm I'm really tasting this the curry in this and even if you're not a curry fan you don't really taste curry you taste like a savory aftertaste because you don't want to put so much curry is one of those you got to be so careful when you put it in your food y'all because if you you can overdo it and make something taste well it depends like I know in the Indian culture it's very big and there's all different kinds of curry and they can never have enough but a lot of people are like not used to curry and so you have to just put in a very little bit and what it does is it just gives an aftertaste savory sense of flavor and that's nice for casseroles that are more salty creamy if it's a sweet casserole absolutely not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know there'll be someone who's saying did she seriously sit there and eat while she was talking to us mm-hmm She seriously did. <laughs> okay. That was on a napkin that was a makeup wipe. <laughs> and I really am getting in the mood for an apple cider. Here's the best way to make one. Just go get one of those big jugs. Um, do get the filtered. People don't really like all that muck around in there. If you want to have something floating, you can get one of the Mullen spices. The best thing to do is to get an orange and slice it really thin and get whole cloves and put them in a pinwheel and, and just slice them and let them be floating around in there. Put a little sprinkle of ginger, a little sprinkle of nutmeg, and some little cinnamon sticks floating around in there with those oranges and clove. It is so wonderful. People will love it. Make sure your house smell good too. So anyway, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. 